Hello everyone, it's Dev again. I wanted to go ahead and do another test run using my refrigerator on the Apex. This time I've got it plugged into the 110 volt and hopefully that means that it won't shut off because of the low power protection that this thing has. So we're gonna see. I'm gonna turn it on. See, he's at a hundred percent. And it says 84, 84 degrees in here, and that's about right. That's what my thermometer says, too. Thermostat, thermometer, whatever you want to call that thing. Let's see. It kept the eco mode and the low battery protection. And the target temperature is still 40. So it's a lot hotter in here in my garage today than it was the first time. So that's why this is at 84. And so I'm going to go ahead and start the timer. see how it goes again it takes three minutes for this compressor to kick on so I'm gonna stop the video right now and then when it kicks on I will film again right now it's pulling eight watts as usual all right see you in a minute all right so something kicked on on the refrigerator but I think something's wrong my refrigerator might be junk, I don't know. It's still only pulling 8 watts, but the fan came on. I don't know if you can hear it. There's the, the charger. I don't think you can hear that on the, on the microphone, but the fan is on. But I'm not sure the compressor actually kicked on. Hmm. Because it's not pulling anything. The display is not giving me an error code or anything. Alright, well. I'll give it a little while longer. This may be a bust. I may be returning this thing. Using my warranty. We shall see. Okay, you guys. I can't explain this because I am not an electrician. But this thing is still only pulling 8 watts. I don't know if you can see that because of the lighting. It finally went down. It's starting to go down to 99%. But it's still only at 8 watts. It's been 19 and a half minutes. And it's working. The compressor did kick on. It's pretty quiet, so again, I couldn't tell if it was just the fan or the compressor, but it's the compressor. And we're down to 60 degrees. This thing's not keeping up. Either that or my display's wrong. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. That says 69. That says 60. But what I'm really baffled at is that this wattage number has not changed at all from the moment I turned this thing on. Oh, oh, there it went. I've been watching it almost the whole time and I haven't seen it even do that. And it only did it for a split second. So maybe it did it, maybe it's done that a few times when I looked away, but you could see for yourself that it was only for a second. So I'm gonna keep running it, see how everything goes. Allegedly down to 59, so I'll check back in in a little bit. All right, here we go. It has reached the target temperature of 40, and again, it went down 
one degree below that. The fan and the compressor turned off. I don't hear it anymore. The only fan I hear is this one. It's over here and you can feel it exhausting. It's been 33 minutes. Still at 100% and 8 watts. Let's see what this is looking like. That says 50. So I'm not sure if this thing is not working or the refrigerator. That, that might not be accurate. I don't know. I'll keep an eye on it and see if that internal temperature catches up with what the display is saying. It was working for the last test, so I don't know why it wouldn't be working this time. But we're at 35 minutes. I'll probably check in in about two or three hours. Let you know how it's going. See you then. Alright, you see that? It's discharging at 12 watts and the compressor is not on. So again, I don't know how to explain everything that's going on. I did see it jump back up to 20 watts and it showed that it was discharging right there but the compressor was on when it was doing that and so now the compressor is off and it's pulling 12 so we're almost at an hour I have the fan going this time during this clip so hopefully that's not too loud 41, 44, so yeah, it's catching up. Seems to be slower than the DC when it's running on DC, but it's still working. I just thought that was interesting that the compressor's not on, and yet it's still discharging. So, like I said, I'll keep an eye on it. I'll report back in a little bit. All right, so it's been three hours. And we're down to 95% on the battery. The last time I ran this on the DC, I did take notes and, and it took, um, let me see my notes here. Yeah, in three hours it went to 99%. So this is drawing more because we're at 95, 96. Not too much more though. Did that kick up? Yeah, look at that. The compressor just kicked on. So it spiked up to 70 it looked like. But yeah, I guess it's not too much of a difference. 41 here. Forty-one here. It finally caught up. So it seems to have taken a little bit longer, but it hasn't drawn that much more of the battery. We'll see now we're done. It fluctuates a lot. I do have to say that. I've watched it and it acts kind of weird. I don't know if it's normal or not, but it's running steady. Alright, so that's my three hour check in. I will probably wait to do another update until tomorrow, unless something exciting happens. Alright, talk to you later. Okay, here we are, 19 hours later, and I can tell you one thing, this is not going to work for me. Thirty-eight percent, and I'm not even to 24 hours. So, 
it's working. I mean, it's definitely only shutting off during when I'm running it on DC because of that low voltage protection. The Apex will run this thing just fine. And it wasn't the Apex. It was definitely not because it's still going. Now, I'm probably going to turn it off before the 24 hours is up because I don't want to drain it um, under 20%, really. So, the 24-hour test may not actually go for 24 hours. Because it's 40 in there. And it, the compressor just shut off. So... I'm pretty sure that this unit is only going to be practical if you have solar panels. I do not have solar panels yet, but I will be getting them. And at that point, I think I'll be able to run this on 12 volt and not have to worry about running it on the inverter. Because they tell you that you can actually use the outlets while it's being charged. so. Like Nate from Element Van Life, he's got his solar panels like just permanently plugged into the side there, and he's got it mounted on top of his van. And so it's pretty much always charging, and I think that's how he's getting away with running a 12 volt fridge plus his instant pot and all that other kind of stuff. Because he's constantly charging, I believe. I haven't asked him that, but I presume that he is because that's the way it looks like in his setup. Um, with his Kodiak. So I will get back to you again when I have to turn the Apex off at 20% or at 24 hours, whichever comes first, I guess. All right, see you then. All right, guys, this is the last clip for this video. I waited for 25 hours to make it a good comparison with the last test I did running it on DC. Um, because I did end up running it for 25 hours instead of 24 and the apex let me But it's almost down to where I want to stop it <laughs> It's almost to 20% So obviously using the inverter Took a lot more energy it works. It's doable but boy you <laughs> really drain your battery so I think this was kind of a fail I mean it worked but I wouldn't want to run it on the AC uh, on the AC on the 112 110 volt AC that's just not very practical so if you're gonna get one of these get yourself some solar panels too <laughs> All right, y'all. Take care.